Hey guys, Maddie here. Welcome to your practice today. We are going to do a really slow and mindful yoga flow today and focus on grounding the physical and emotional body. So a really beautiful practice today um, just to come back to the moment and just to be at peace with what is. If you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed or a little bit like things are out of your control, this is a really good one to do. And also a really good practice just to wind down after a busy day or to set yourself up for a um, really good day ahead. And it's suitable for all levels. Hope you enjoy it. All you're going to need is your yoga mat, maybe a couple of cushions if you're a little bit tight or if you're practicing in the morning. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to click subscribe um, to my channel so you'll never miss out on another video. And please give this video a like and let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you have a beautiful day and a beautiful practice. Thanks, guys. to begin today's practice down onto our back so when you're ready come down find your way to a conscious resting pose on your back to begin plant the soles of the feet to the ground about hip distance apart you can turn the palms up or down with your arms rested by your side whatever feels most comfortable for you and if you like when you're ready close down the eyes and just start to relax and soften, soften the shoulders, soften all of your facial features, the neck, the throat, and just feel the weight of your body sinking towards the ground. As you begin to create this connection to the ground below, feel the connection at your feet. Maybe you'd like to take a moment just to spread all 10 of your toes, and try and feel each toe connecting to the mat below. Also feel that connection at the balls of your feet and at your heels. Feel the lower back, how it feels against the ground and the upper back, the shoulder blades, your arms gently resting by your side. Fingers are relaxed. If you've got the palms turned down, maybe feeling the connection of each fingertip to the ground below. And feel the connection at the base of your skull. And as we grind towards the earth, also feel yourself grinding to this moment as you bring your awareness into your breath. Start to connect to it, breathing in and out through your nose and just notice how your breath feels. What is the quality of your breath? Does it feel short? Does it feel a little bit tight? Or perhaps it already feels long and smooth. Slowly start to slow the breath down. Notice what parts of your body are affected by the breath. The belly rising, the middle chest rising, the upper chest rising, and all sinking with each breath out. Stay connected, aware of the breath for three more rounds of your own breath. Good. When you finish your three rounds of breath, just start to gently wriggle the fingers, open and close the hands, and then reach the arms overhead. At the same time, extend the legs along 
your mat, point through the toes, reach out through the fingers like you're taking a really nice full body stretch, holding it here, feeling the length of your body, really trying to create that length from the fingertips, a long line of energy all the way down to the toes. Good, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a really tight squeeze and draw the forehead towards the knees, squeezing even tighter. Feel the thighs pressing against your belly and chest. And release the back of your head down. Reach both arms out to either side. Cross the right leg over the left. We're going to eagle the legs. You can do like a half eagle like this, or you can wrap the foot as well, if that's available to you. If it's not, don't worry about it. From here, slowly drop both knees over to the left. And gaze over to the right, taking a nice twist here. Opening the right side of your chest towards the right as you draw the right shoulder down towards the ground, deepening the twist to a point that feels available and comfortable for you and for your spine. Still breathing, nice and soft, feel the breath into your belly. Using each breath in to create space in the lungs and the belly and the spine and each breath out to deepen the twist. Taking one more breath in and breath out. Use the, your breath in to come back to center. Unravel the legs, take it to the other side, cross the left leg over, wrapping it once or wrapping the foot as well. Slowly drop both knees over to the right, gaze to the left. And doing the same thing on this side, really work the left shoulder down towards the ground, really opening up across the chest and deepening the twist with each exhalation. One more full round of breath, taking a soft breath in and release. Breath in to come back to neutral. Unravel the legs. From here, we'll come into a happy baby. Take hold of the outer edges of your feet if you can. If you can't, just take hold of the ankles. Or you can even grab the big toes. Flexing the feet, draw the feet nice and wide and the soles of the feet parallel to the ceiling. Drawing the knees down towards the ground. Either side of your rib cage to feel that nice, um, release into the hips and the groin, gently pulling against the feet to make it a little bit deeper, lengthening the tailbone down towards the ground, feeling the breath into the belly, feel the belly rising in between your thighs and sinking. We're going to take five rounds of breath here in this happy baby. all the time pulling against the feet to open up into the hips a little more. Keep grounding the tailbone. Pull a little tighter as you ground the tailbone a little more. One more deep breath in. And breath out, slowly extend the heels to the bottom corners of the mat. Just take a moment, relaxing the hips here. Notice how the hips feel. Good. When you're ready, hug the knees into the chest. We're going to rock and roll a few times along the spine, eventually coming all the way up to a seat. You're going to turn sideways onto your mat. Take the legs into a 
nice wide legged straddle as wide as um, is comfortable for you if you need to elevate the hips if you're quite tight you can sit up onto something onto a couple of cushions or a block also if you need to you can bend the knees here and you may need to even place cushions underneath the knees just to make it comfortable for yourself keep the legs and the feet nice and active here so we're flexing the feet and we're just going to take um, some side stretches we're going to um, go over the right leg first so you're going to take the right hand just down towards the left thigh and then reach the left arm over towards the right foot try not to dump the chest or the left shoulder down towards the ground really open up into the chest so we get this really nice lateral line stretch really reach up through the fingers and since we're still at the beginning of our practice don't worry about the depth here just worry about the sensation so you're feeling that nice length into the left side body don't worry if you can't reach for the toes but if you can you can go there as long as you can keep the chest nice and open and we're just holding it here a couple more breaths feels so nice to feel that stretch into the left side body you can even increase it by sending your breath into the left side body one more deep breath in and breath out use your breath in to gently come back to neutral and we'll take it to the other side just take the left hand down towards the right thigh reach the right arm towards the left toes Keep the chest nice and open, reaching through the right side body. Feel like you're grounding the right sit bone back down towards the earth to increase the stretch and feel your breath filling up into the right side body with each breath in. With each breath out, sink a little deeper. Make sure you're softening where you can, softening the jaw always helps to open up into the hips as well. One more breath. And inhale. To come back up to center. Well done. From here, come into a tabletop position onto your hands and your knees. Shoulders are directly over the wrists, hips are directly over your knees. And we'll keep warming up into the spine with some flexion and extension now. We've done out some twisting and we've done some side stretching. So now we'll create this um, extension and flexion with some cat and cow. So as you take a breath in, open the chest towards the front wall as you drop the navel down towards the ground tailbone tilting up towards the ceiling really open up through the chest and the shoulders as you breathe out the opposite rounding out through the spine curling the tailbone under drawing the chin towards the chest protracting into the shoulder so really puffing the shoulder blades up towards the ceiling with nice straight arms and just keep moving on your own now moving to your breath Breathing in to open up and extend. Breathing out to round and curl. And we'll just flow through three more rounds. Staying really connected to the breath. And when you've finished your three rounds, come back to a neutral spine. From our tabletop position now, we're going to reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. Really open the chest, gaze up towards the left fingers. Try and keep the hips as square as you can here towards the front edge of your mat. Taking a deep breath in. On the breath out, thread the needle, thread the left arm under the right, take the left side of your head or maybe even the back of your head down towards the ground. 
and you can stay right here if that's enough for you. If you want to deepen the twist, reach the right arm up towards the ceiling and then bend the right elbow. Take the right hand either to the left hip or the thigh, maybe even towards the inner left thigh and open up across the right side of your chest even more, holding it here. One more breath in, stay on the breath out, reach the right arm back up, coming out exactly as you came in, plant the right palm, as you release, reach the left arm back up just to counter, taking a deep breath in, exhale to lower the left palm, and we'll take it to the other side, reach the right arm up, really open the chest, extend through the fingertips, Deep inhalation here. Exhale to thread the right arm under the left shoulder, setting the right side of the head, maybe even the back of the head down to the ground. And to deepen it, reach the left arm up, bend the left elbow, take the left hand to the right hip or the right thigh, or maybe even the right inner thigh, and gently Draw back on that left shoulder really gently to open up into that left shoulder and deepen the twist. Taking a few really smooth, balanced breaths. Notice how the breath feels, if it's feeling really staggered or tight. Maybe back off the twist just a little bit until you find that even quality of your breath. One more breath. Coming in how you came out, reach the left arm up, plant the left palm, reach the right arm up to open the chest again, gaze up to the right fingers, deep breath in. Exhale, release the right palm to the ground, back to tabletop. Bring the knees together and the feet together. Sink the hips back towards the heels, bring the forehead down to the ground. And if it feels comfortable for you, bring the arms by your sides, relax the shoulders with the palms turning up towards the ceiling. Just taking a few moments in a narrow child's pose, feel your third eye connecting to the ground below. Feel the um, toenails, the tops of your feet and ankles and shins and knees, the tops of the hands. Feeling so grounded, at peace with what is in this very moment. Feel the breath expanding into your back. One more breath in. And breath out. Slowly sit up onto the heels. I'm going to tuck the toes under if it feels comfortable and available to you. If this is um, too intense for you, you can either just um, rest back onto the tops of the feet or you can even place a cushion underneath the butt, in between the butt and the heels to lessen the intensity. From here, um, I'll turn this way just so you can see. We're going to take the um, right arm up, take the right palm between your shoulder blades and see if you can snuggle the right elbow straight behind the head. And then you can either take the left hand to the right elbow to help snuggle it behind. Or if you have the range, you can reach the left hand all the way around to maybe catch the right fingers. Or you can use some fabric or a strap here. Um, taking Gogokasana arms, really nice stretch into the shoulders and the triceps if you've got like this beautiful curve into your spine see if you can contract into the core and remove that um, curve just to create a little bit of engagement creating a bit of a straighter back holding it here just one more breath in and breath out slowly release 
and just notice how it feels as you release. Inhale, reach the left arm up, bend the left arm, take it between the shoulder blades, take the right hand to the left elbow, snuggle the left elbow behind the center of the head, and you can stay here or you can reach around to deepen the shoulder and tricep stretch. And again, contracting to the belly. Observe how this stretch feels, where you're feeling it the most. Feel into your breath. One more breath in and release, nice and slow. Gently untuck the toes and just tap the tops of the feet on the ground, bring the circulation back. Well done for holding that um, toe sit. I know that that can be really intense. From here, we'll come into our Adho Mukha Svanasana, our downward facing dog. So um, plant the hands towards the top of your mat, spreading the fingers nice and wide under the shoulders. Tuck the toes under at the back of the mat and then lift the hips up and back. You can stay with a bent knee here if you're a little bit tight into the hamstrings, creating that nice neutral spine. Otherwise, you can start to straighten out through the legs. Feel the energy of the heels running down towards the ground. Feeling these lines of energy grounding towards the earth. Feel it at the fingertips as well and the palms of your hands. Really press the pads of your fingers and the inner aspect of the wrists. So you feel really firm and stable here as you press the ground away. Feel the line of energy running up the spine all the way up through the tailbone and the hips towards the ceiling. Holding space here just for a few more breaths. One more deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, let it go. From here, bend the knees and look forward towards the top of the mat. And we're just gonna walk little steps, nice and light and soft all the way to the top of the mat. Bring the feet to hip distance apart. Bend the knees if you need to here. As you let the head hang, take hold of opposite elbows, come into a little rag doll and just completely let go here, trying to relax the back and relax the neck, relax the head and the face, relax the shoulders. Feel really balanced here. If you want to challenge your balance a little bit more, feel like you're shifting the weight a little more forward into the balls of the feet, taking some of the weight out of the heels lifting the sit bones a little bit higher towards the ceiling. Take one more breath in. On the breath out, release the hands to the ground and slowly roll up through the spine, one vertebra at a time. Head comes last all the way to standing. Bring the feet together so that the big toes are touching and we'll stand to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Bring the arms by your sides, soften the shoulders, palms turn towards the front wall, fingers spread nice and wide so you really feel the fingers energizing if you feel okay here, close down your eyes and feel that again the connection of the feet and the toes pressing down towards the earth at this, the same time as we root to the ground, we also rise taller and taller upward towards the sky. Feel yourself elevating through the crown of the head. The legs are really strong, activating into the quads. Squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the glutes, add a little tail tuck to help engage into the lower belly, the lower ribs. Feel the chest expanding a little bit more open. Feel the neck lengthening as the shoulders soften. 
holding this stance, this grounded, proud, immovable strength of the mountain for a deep breath in and breath out. Open up the eyes on the next breath in, reach the arms up towards the ceiling, gaze up between the palms as you exhale, bow forward, hinging from the hips all the way down to your forward fold. Inhale to halfway, lengthen through the spine, reaching the crown of the head forward, broadening the collarbones, gently squeezing the shoulder blades together. You can bend the knees here if you need to, and you can bring the hands to the shins or the thighs, whatever you need to do to get this nice neutral spine. From here, plant the palms, step back to your high plank, holding it here, shoulders over the wrists, dropping the knees to the ground. If you need to, back it off a little bit, holding it here, nice and strong, tucking the tailbone under, engage into your glutes, engage into the inner thighs and the quads, engage into the core, puff the upper back and shoulder blades towards the ceiling, wrap your triceps back so your elbow creases face towards the front edge of your mat, holding all of this strength and stability, start to squeeze the hands towards each other, one more breath, Good, from here shift forward so your shoulders come over the fingertips. We're gonna slowly lower all the way down onto the belly, squeezing the elbows in towards the ribs as you lower, 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 all the way down. Flatten the tops of the feet to the ground. Hands are still below the shoulders, squeezing the elbows in towards the ribs. As you take a breath in, lift the chest to a baby cobra. And again, engage into the legs, squeezing the inner thighs, squeezing the glutes to help lengthen into the lower back. Keep squeezing the elbows in a little bit tighter towards the ribs. One more breath in. And slowly release. We'll do two more. This time, see if you can remove some of the weight out of your hands and engage a little more into the back. So if you like, you can even hover the hands off the ground, moving to breath, take a breath in, lift the chest, exhale, release. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, tuck the toes under, press back to your hands and knees, all the way back to your downward facing dog, lifting the hips up and back, take a deep breath in. And let the breath go. And another deep breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Making our way to the top of the mat, bend the knees, walk, step, or you can jump. However you get there, breathing into your halfway lift, lengthening through the spine. Exhale to fold to Uttanasana. Press down through the heels, grounding the feet as you inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Reach the arms up, gaze up between the fingertips. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. From here, we're going to press down through the heels and take a seat in our chair pose, reaching both arms up. Energize through the fingertips. Holding it here, feel your inner thighs squeezing towards each other. Feel the energy running up through the fingertips and down through the heels. From here, wrap the left arm under the right. And we're going to take eagle arms, bringing the palms together and lifting up through the elbows. If this is a little bit too much for you, you can always just take hold of opposite shoulders like this. Pressing down through the right foot, we're going to... Take the left thigh over the right, eagling the legs. Half eagle or full eagle by wrapping the foot. Sink a little deeper, keep lifting the elbows and still keep, try to keep the chest forward. So you're a really proud eagle here, holding it here, balanced and focused. 
squeeze inner thighs. One more breath in. On the breath out, slowly unravel and come up to standing, reaching both arms up. Exhale, bow forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. As you exhale, plant the fingertips or the palms of the hands. We're going to step the left toes to the back of the mat, bending into the right knee. And we're going to lower the back knee down to the ground, coming into a low lunge. As you inhale, reach both arms up. Send the front of the left hip forward to deepen into this lunge and feel that length into the left hip flexor. Engage into your left glute to help stabilize the pelvis and deepen the lunge and lift up through the chest. Maybe opening the heart towards the ceiling and lifting your gaze as well. Holding it here. Sink a little deeper, press the hips forward. Keep squeezing into that left glute. One more breath in. On the breath out, lower the fingertips to frame out the right foot. Slide onto your front heel to half split. Dorsiflexing your right foot and pull back on that right heel, creating a little micro bend into your right knee. So we're creating lots of engagement into the hamstring as well as the stretch. Lift up through the right sit bone, holding it here with a nice lengthened spine for a moment, taking a deep breath in. As you breathe out, fold forward over the right thigh. Keep pulling back on that heel. One more breath. And breath out. Slowly bend back into the right knee. Tuck the back toes under. Lift the back knee off the ground. Really squeeze into your left glute. Use your strength here to reach both arms up, coming into a high present lunge. Feeling grounded and stable, pressing down through the front heel. Feel the ball of the back foot connecting to the ground below. Think of lifting the back heel away from the ground. Reach up through the fingertips, lengthen into the side body. Contract into the core, squeeze into that left glute. One more breath in. On the breath out, lower the palms of the hands. Step the right foot back to downward facing dog. Taking a moment here, reset, reconnect to your breath. One more breath in. And breath out. Bend the knees, look forward. Make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale to press down through the feet, rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Other side, bend the knees, sweep the arms up to Utkatasana, your chair pose, sinking the weight into the heels, finding that really powerful grounded chair pose, feeling really strong through the legs, really strong through the core, reaching up through the arms and the fingertips. Wrap the right arm under the left this time, eagling the arms or take any other modification. And when you're ready, pick the right thigh up and over the left, eagle the legs. You can half eagle or full eagle, whatever is available for you today. Squeeze inner thighs, sink a little bit deeper, keep the chest lifting, keep the elbows lifting, holding it here. Stay really focused with your drishti gaze, straight between the forearms. Keep really steady, even breath. One more breath in. And breath out. Slowly unravel, reaching the arms up, standing all the way up, taking a deep breath in. 
Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. As you exhale, this time stepping the right toes to the back of the mat, drop the back knee down. As you inhale, sweep both arms up to your low lunge. Press the right hip forward, squeeze into the right glute to deepen the lunge. Lift up through the heart, reach up through the fingertips. Sinking deeper and deeper. One more breath in. On the breath out, lower the fingertips, frame out the left foot. Slide onto your front heel into our Adha Hanumanasana, flexing the left foot, pulling back on that left heel, lift up through the left sit bone, beautiful. Lengthening through the spine, momentarily taking the breath in. Exhale, fold over the left leg, holding it here, surrendering to the stretch, surrendering to the wave of sensation that you're experiencing in this moment. Really tune into it and accept it as it is. Not needing to change a single thing about yourself in this very moment. One more breath. And let it go. Beautiful, bend into the left knee. Tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off the ground, really squeeze into that right tush and then rise all the way up as you take a breath in to your Anjaneyasana crescent lunge. Lengthen through the side body, reach up through the fingertips, at the same time sink a little bit deeper, squeeze into that right glute, press down through the ball of the right foot, feel the connection of the front heel pressing to the ground below. Couple more breaths, you've got this. One more breath in, on the breath out, lower the palms, step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, and breath out. Shift forward all the way to the top of your high plank, keep shifting forward, shoulders coming over the fingertips, drop the knees if you need, need to as you bend the arms lower to chaturanga. As you inhale, come onto the tops of the feet, press the ground away, come to cobra or upward facing dog, really engage into the legs, squeeze the glutes, pull the shoulders back and pull the hands back towards your hips as you move the chest forward, holding it here. One more breath in, downward facing dog, well done. From here, walk the hands back, all the way to the feet. From here we'll take Padahastasana, walking the feet on tops of the palms of the hands. As much as you can, maybe your toes are even right into the wrist creases, and that's amazing. If they're not, just keep practicing and one day you'll get there. Take a breath in, lengthen to halfway. As you exhale, fold. Hold it here, reach the crown of the head towards the ground. Feel the stretch into the backs of the legs. Feel the belly against the thighs. One more breath in. And let go. Release the hands. Slowly roll up through the spine all the way to standing at the back of your mat. Heel toe the feet together. Reach both arms up. We're gonna interlace the fingers, all of them except for your index fingers, taking a Kali Mudra. Try and keep the um, arms framing the ears, really lengthen into the side body. From here, we're gonna just step the right foot towards the middle of the mat, point through your back toes. We're gonna to start to reach forward and lift the left leg off the ground to our Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. Soften the left hip down towards the ground and feel the left glute engaging, reaching back through the left toes. Try to engage into your core and try and keep the arms framing the ears and know that it's challenging. 
holding it here really steady rooting through the right foot the right leg is really strong one more breath in and slowly stand all the way back up and release the arms to give the shoulders a little roll maybe the right leg needs a little shake again reach both arms up take your kali mudra interlace the fingers the unnatural way for yourself this time whatever you didn't do on the other side and now stepping the left foot towards the top of the mat point through the right toes and launch into your warrior three soften the right hip down towards the ground reach back through the toes contract into the core keep pointing those fingers forward reaching a little bit more holding it strong for five four three two one good job release Whew. at the top of our mat now bring the feet back to hip distance apart take a breath in reach both arms up exhale fold down this time come to Padangustasana taking your peace fingers around the big toes so you're grabbing onto the big toes inhale to lengthen to halfway as you exhale bend the arms and fold holding it here just a few slow breaths one more breath in and release the fingertips to the ground heel to the feet a little bit wider and turn the toes out and we're going to bend the knees sinking into a yogi squat bringing the hands to the heart center and taking a few moments here squeeze the knees towards your elbows and the elbows are resisting that force to create a little bit more engagement into the adductor muscles at the same time think of lifting up from the lower ribs and tucking the tailbone creating a really strong squat here so we're not lazy at all in this squat Holding it here, deep breath in and breath out. One more, inhale, exhale. Slowly release all the way down onto your tush. Bring the feet in front of you, scoot the butt back so our legs are nice and straight in front of us. If you need to, you can lengthen the sit bones back even a little bit more. Take a breath in, reach both arms up. As you exhale, fold forward, catching the feet or the ankles or the shins, bending the arms so that the forearms are grounding to the mat. And when you're ready, tuck the chin towards the chest. Press out through the inner feet as you flex the feet and try to engage into the quads. one more cleansing breath into the lower back and breath out use the breath in to slowly come all the way up and slowly roll all the way down onto your back hug the knees into the chest give yourself a really tight squeeze and when you're ready, extend the heels to the bottom corners of your mat. Rest the arms by your sides into your Shavasana. Taking the time now to first notice how you're feeling at the end of this grounding practice. Tuning into those emotions or feelings, sensations without judgment towards yourself, without attachment. Just accepting yourself as you are because you are enough just as you are in this very moment. Enjoy your Shavasana.